Greetings. How are you? I'm listening. Great to meet you. Ah, I've, I've been, been expecting, expecting you. For the good. You come oh. get the voodoo. Uh, hey there. And you are. Light be with hey, you. Pray to you me. come to consult the spirits? Welcome to Orgrimmar. Have you come to serve the Horde? Sail here, me buy and trade. What? Hello and welcome to Control Alt Wow, the podcast for those of us who love World of Warcraft and love making many alts. Today is Monday, October 21st, 2019, and this is episode 636 entitled Movies, Classic Mistakes. Lost Treasures. I'm Aprilia and your host, and with me are my two awesome co-hosts. How are you doing today, Constructs? I'm doing fantastic. I'm a little bit tired. I um, I was up way too late on Saturday doing LFR, and um, oh, wow. uh, eventually uh, Sunday, I um, I looked at my computer and I almost face-planted in there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I need to lay down now. Walk away from the computer. How's Back away the, slowly, correct. How's the weather? It's been 60 degrees here, and I've been loving it. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, raining every day here. Oh, bummer. And Grand Negus, oh, how are you? Oh, it's been raining here most, oh. most of the last week, too. So, mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I... Thankful, I, I lost something that I thankfully found again. Oh wow! Yeah, I was like uh, this little little thing from my 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 necklace. Oh. My my uh, hoard necklace. Oh thing, wow! Uh, yeah, so, but thankfully I found it again, and since I don't don't take it off normally because it's it it's. It's it's tied in a knot. Mm. Yeah. The 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 necklace itself. I I don't take it off. That that. Uh, uh, yeah, it was I. I don't know what happened. The 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 ring that held it is apparently it, it broke. Oh yeah. So. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, and and it's I, I, out. I took an old piece of jewelry to um, like a. Cory specialist and whatnot, they fixed it for twenty bucks. So yeah, went, yeah, I'm uh, gonna. I I went to to the jeweler shop today or now yeah. for me it's yesterday, <laughs> and they oh, yeah. said they said yeah uh, come back tomorrow and we'll we'll have a selection of of, of leather leather necklaces for you oh, wow. where we can then put in the oh. ring again. Oh, that's nice. Well, it's like and then. This one, the catch broke, so it doesn't catch. Yeah, and yeah, I have. Yeah, and, and I, as you can see, I have the. I, I have just not knotted it. Put the knot together, so I don't ever yeah. take it off until the leather thing breaks. I am. Um, I right. used a so, um, a zip tie, not a zip tie, a baggy tie, like a little bit, yeah. and I. And it holds it yeah. together for now. But yeah, I've had this one since this necklace since 1999, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, years. so I, I, I told the the lady at the jeweler shop. I said, "You can give me one with a, like a, a clip, so I can open it and take it off." Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, she said we can we can do that. Mm-mm. And uh, I go over there and get it fixed tomorrow, so I can I'll pick it up day after tomorrow. So it shouldn't be more than I don't know ten, maybe fifteen euros. So that's okay. Right. Oh, yeah. Right, so what's going on? We, we can't lose our our hoard. Our hoard necklace. We can. No. Yeah, that's why no. I have mine right here. Is my hoard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't lose that. Um. So what's going on this week? We do have Hallows and. We have Hallows and we have. Uh, we had it on Friday, and Friday went doing shenanigans with uh, Kyle. He was oh. on, so I said, hey, let's have some fun. Oh. Nice. Yeah, it was awesome. great. 
Yeah. It's good to hang out with guildies, isn't it? It is. Oh, it definitely. is. Definitely. Yeah, and we have what do we, what, what more do we have? I think we have like pet battle week. Yep, it is pet battle yes. week. Yeah, I did that too. That was a lot of fun. I leveled uh, I think ten or twelve pets nice. to uh, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Because it, depending how much double XP you get, uh, one pet battle will net you like quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you never get there, and, and unless you use both. Both the uh, the extra things on top. Yeah. So if you if you do that, you can take it. If you if you have super squirt, did we have super squirt this time around? No, I think it's I didn't see it. But I did do a pet battle in my garrison that uh, maxed out one of my pets. Yeah. Because I I used a, a, a pet that wasn't quite level twenty five yet. Mm -hmm. I yeah. thought ah oh, he could take it, and and mm -hmm. he uh, he totally uh, rocked that that yeah. pet battle. Yeah, it was normally... the one with the extra um, uh, Ellis or like the extra um, pet handler in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So normally when we have uh, Super Squad Day. And you take a pet from level one, you need three three battles. Right. But right. If, but if you only have your your uh, safari hat and the and the bonus. Right. But if you if you give it uh, if if you have the uh, pet treat or whatever they're called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then you can uh, do it with two because you get the 80%, 75, 75%. Right. Or 85 if you count the... Uh, is it repeatable what that is day? Repeatable? What is repeatable? The super squirt day. Oh, you can... Like, as how many pets can you do in uh, an hour? As many as you can muster. <laughs> how many pets have you successfully leveled in an hour? Mm. Oh, I don't know. Personally, I, that, that you can recall. Mm. 30, no, no, in, in, in an hour, yeah. um, 10, 15. Wow, wow that's really like good. That. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. I don't 10, level quite that fast. I usually level to 21 or 22. And then after yeah. that, I use the pet stones. I save my pet stones for the last three or four levels. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. then you, you, you just uh, double your uh, your score on that. Yeah, yeah. You you get about like I said, you get about three three battles. Oh, you need about three battles per per uh, per pet, and they take what, two three minutes. Yeah, that's good. Wow. So that's six, six to nine, six, seven. It depends. I I usually go with the with the highest of the teens. Mm. So I have them. The ones that I level, they are around like eight, nine, sometimes ten. So I'm not taking them from level one. So that's why it's a little off compared to. But you're you put, also mentioning an add-on that cues them for you. You select which order you want them in. Yes, right? yes. I, that's uh, the smartest way of doing it, I think. Yes, you have. Uh, it, it's called uh, rematch. Rematch, something. right? Yeah. I you have know. over 900 pets now. <laughs> yeah, you have. You yeah, those are unique. If you yeah. count all of them, I have like 1,300. Yeah, you basically queue them up in a queue, and then yeah. you, and then once they reach twenty-five by whatever means, yeah, you, they fall out of the queue, and right. then the next one takes its place. So you don't have to go into your 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 pet uh, selection screen and then and look for the new pet and put it in there and. It's all done automatically by the add-on. So There's no pumpkin basket on the barge? Excuse me? There's no pumpkin basket on the barge? On the barge? And shining and shimmering flats. 
Uh, it, it, it's, it wouldn't I be at the bottom. It's in the end. Yeah, I'm in the, the end. end. Is in the middle at the back. Oh, okay. I go further back. Okay. Right. So normally, where the captain would sit on the boat, mm -hmm. one level down. Yeah, the I'm west still... side, the <laughs> other side. I can see you frowning at me there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm all the way in the back where there's some beds. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Oh well, go ahead. Sorry. No, it's okay. So if you if you go and and uh, take take the pets from level one, everyone exclusively level one, then you might need one more one more battle and then then you can you you might not get get that high mm. uh, or that many pets leveled but uh, yeah and again it's 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 an estimate where well, I would say 10, 10 is is a good number right if you if if you get that and if you if you uh, use your your pet tweets your twenty five percent and your fifty percent, right? Um, what are they called? Pet treats and what's the other no, one? No, no, the, uh, no. They're shiny? called something different. Charms. No, 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 no. No. There's the the sausage and there's the the. Oh, I don't think I've had the sausage. I've had the uh, little biscuit. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a biscuit and a sausage. I, I don't ask me which one gives you how much uh, bonus. One gives you fifty, and one gives you twenty-five. The sausage, have, the sausage gives you twenty-five. Okay. And yeah. Okay. So it's the biscuit with fifty, and then you have the safari head that gives you ten. So 10, that's yeah. it, it, so that's eighty-five on top of the bonus you get from the. From the event. Does anyone remember how to get the safari hat? Yeah, you just do <coughs> the achievement. Which is called? <laughs> uh, I'm going to hit safari, safari hat. hat. Safari, safari hat achievement. Okay. Taming the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, my yeah. gosh. And so it has to do defeat 40 pet tamers. Yeah. I think it's the ones in classic that you have to do that okay, in. So I'm no, no, that's not enough. That's not enough. Mm. So you have to do Outland and Panari as well? I would imagine so. Outland. Oh, wow. When we when they introduced it, I would think you need to do the because you can only do so many because because you are your uh, the faction specific on Azeroth. Right. Right, right. So so uh, quick Quick question: Does yeah. anyone does anyone need a bee? Do I have enough tokens to buy a bee? Good define, question. Next question. Define need. <laughs> need as in want more than a little oh, and yeah, less than I, too much. I, I could need. It's called the the seaborn bee. Yeah. I'm in that zone, so it'll uh, take me just a couple minutes to get one and get give it to you on the Earthen Ring or mail it to you. All right. I cannot find this stupid bucket. I'm about to leave this ship. Go go install Handy Notes uh, Hello, Hello's End. And it'll tell me where to find the bucket. Mm -hmm. Hey, Matterhorn. Matterhorn's in the chat room hey, with us. Matter. Hey, Matter. Hey, Matter. Mata, do you need a bee? Do you want a bee? <laughs> Are you a bee? Are you a bee? Are you a beekeeper? It's yeah, called so the Seaborn Sea Breeze Bumblebee. So if you want the if you want to know where the buckets are, go install handy notes and uh it says no thanks. Mm. Yeah. Um Handy notes and the Hellos and uh, module that gives you the location of the of the buckets. Um, All right. So, what else is there? Oh, um, for this week. That should be. Is there a PvP event? No, because there was one last week. 
Yeah, so that's usually they alternate between yeah. PvP and uh, a weekly event. So yeah. this week it happens to be the time walking dungeons from uh, uh, Burning Crusade. Yeah. So okay. there we go. All right, well, let's get started. Let's. Did you? I've had a fantastic weekend. Wow. It's um, Thank God. <laughs> very comforting. Those battlegrounds where you're not necessarily putting out more damage, but you feel like you're contributing more by pushing all the buttons all at once. <laughs> bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Constrax, how's your week been? Anyway. My week has been uber. I uh, just got the hiccups now, so I'll try not to hiccup too much. But, uh, <laughs> It is what it is. Yeah. Uh, I just got a one-handed mace with avoidance. I don't know how I can do that. Mm. Probably shard it. Mm. Doesn't really help me as a rogue to have avoidance. Like, I can't possibly mm. stack enough of it. Mm. So uh, <clears throat> my week has been uh, thus. I was uh, uber, uber tired after last Monday. So it took me like the whole week to recover. So I didn't do anything except my... Uh, auction house I made a few mistakes on the auction house this week so oh. I uh, I lost some gold to the deposits I didn't oh. realize it the deposits were priced wrong um, it turns out that when you list a uh, albino cave fish if you list it for a thousand gold you have to pay a 200 200 gold deposit on it <laughs> <laughs> so if you list five of them <laughs> Basically, tossing your profit at the window. Right. Uh, that, like, I didn't know that. And I was like, oh, okay. It's Basically, the message came up, you don't have enough gold to post. <gasps> I'm like, oh, oh that's, that's bad. So I listed a few items, like, below cost to try and uh, sell something. So I, I'm not dead broke. And, uh, I, like, I sold a few things, but not, not enough to relist all my wares. So, uh, lesson learned, always watch, you know, when you hit the button on, uh, on, uh, Creating a, a TSM, yeah. uh, pay attention to the deposit amount. Mm. If it's over 50 gold, you may, you may just want to vendor that one. Um, and, uh, I didn't get to go to Mechagon yet. I haven't killed King Mechagon. I'm hoping it's going to happen at some point because I really want to get rid of that quest in my quest log. <laughs> yeah, you Before need to expansion. run the you need to run the mythic to do that. Or wait for eight point three because apparently yeah. eight point three is when they get converted down and split up and being made available for heroic. Yeah, so uh Friday, uh, Thursday and Saturday I played a lot. Friday, I did some shenanigans with Kyle. He came on, and uh, we just hung out for like an hour, an hour and a half. Oh, nice. That was good. And I invited him to my garrison, and they said, uh, uh, slash wave at me. He goes, why? I go, come on, just do it. <laughs> and he got an achievement, garrison buddies. Right. I congratulated him. Uh -huh. And I said, I need to uh, summon a character here. He goes, what are you talking about? I go, well, I said, I, want, I don't want to do the scenario in... Um, Warlords of Draenor, and I said, I do want a garrison because it's useful to have to uh, have the mine and to be able to do a few things. And sometimes you just say, meet at the garrison because everyone's got a garrison everywhere, uh, just about. And so um, he said, okay. So we met at the garrison, and I brought out my uh, follower, Alona, because Alona, if you level her to level three as a wingman, she has a summoning stone in her pocket. So we're out up front the garrison, I popped out the summoning stone, and I summoned my gnome, which I boosted. When you boost a gnome, you don't get a garrison. So Kyle said, why don't you go to uh, Timeless Isle and just take the portal? I said, it's wrong. It doesn't make sense lore-wise, and I said, I shouldn't be in the game. I think to me, taking that portal is cheating because you end up in Gorgon. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And uh, so everyone has a, a garrison everywhere. So I uh, I went to my garrison. I summoned Alona. Alona put down her pet pocket portal. 
<laughs> so I was able to summon my rogue directly to the garrison for her mm. to start questing. I don't know. the. Um, I just don't feel right about the Timeless Isle one. It, it is there, but I, uh, it breaks my uh, my immersion, so to speak, to sit at that campfire and to click on the load. Like, it just... It, it doesn't make sense to me. And uh, so I, I would rather do the summoning stone and skip that way or get a mage to port me to Ashran, to Warspear or the um, the Alliance version, because then at that point, it doesn't feel like cheating. It, it just feels like, okay, you get su- you get sent to uh, somewhere where you're... Um, your forces are already established. So to me, that you're, you're sent there as a reinforcement. You don't just show up out of nowhere. So uh, I did that. And uh, yay, I just got 27th Legion service medals. All right. I, I didn't do a lot of incursions this week because I, I was just too tired. And the incursions, you have to be able to invest the time. I wanted to level my rogue, but I didn't, didn't really have a lot of time. So what I did is I would log on to the rogue I would do the incursion, and I wouldn't turn it in right away. So I would, uh, I would have like six hours to tr- do my turn in. So I would go do my questing to use up the leftover twenty to thirty minutes of the questing with the buff, and then I would spend that on um, the questing across the other pond there in Zendalar, and that way I would get another champion, and at the same time. After my turn in, I would return the buff to have when I start the next incursion. So I would only bring out my rogue in a very limited amount of time to go do incursion. But at some point, I needed to go farm Elementium because I wanted that for my transfuse. I had six alchemists and I ran out of Elementium. So I, I had to physically go. I have a little route that I do in Twilight Highlands and it's really, really lucrative. But um, you, you have to have the time to fly out there or to teleport out there and then fly around and then do your little circuit. And if you're on the low pop server, the Elementium is plentiful. Like it, every single node is where it's supposed to be. There's no nodes out of place. And you can't go five feet without tripping on the nodes, which oh, <laughs> that's, that's, how, awesome. that's what you want if you're farming. And uh, the reason I made this rogue is so I could pull my other rogue to a ro- to a realm which is plentiful with ore. Because sometimes you want to go farming and there's just none to be had. Like you, you just miss the train of people just farming it in droves and it, it, the ore's not there. And uh, I watched uh, some streamer to uh, Dire Mall. I didn't know. At the end of Dire Mall, there's a cave that goes up and it's full of uh, thorium. Oh. I guess it's going to be a farming spot in Classic now. Because what he's farming for is the arcane crystals for people to have sulfurous. So, I don't know, that's pretty smart. He says he gets 400 gold per crystal. Which, you know, that's not too bad if you want some gold. Um, I'm not the smartest player out there, so I do try to maximize my time and uh, get what I can out of the game. Uh, occasionally, um, I do it wrong, like on the auction house and I stumbled into Overwatch this week because I bought, um, Call of Duty. So I figured I might as well get comfortable holding a pulse rifle. (laughs) So (laughs) I went and donned up uh, soldier 76 and I took out a few guys and my kill score is not too bad. I get about, uh, three kills to my five deaths which is not one-to-one yet, but um, the healers don't complain too much about my uh, my dying, so I guess I'm not making classic mistakes. They use cover effectively, and I stay within range of the healers. Uh, I took out Bastion for the first time ever in a game. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> and I had my funniest moment in Overwatch where Mercy came around the corner and tried to take me out, and <laughs> I just switched to the... Uh, rotary auto cannon mode. <laughs> Mercy went down real quick. Oh my goodness! I, that was like my funniest moment in Overwatch. Uh, the Gatling gun versus the pistol. Right. Uh, I've never had that before, where somebody does 
and having a firepower take you out and to just stand there waiting to die. And uh, it was good. I was uh, not doing party sync in the um, in the leveling zones yet. I uh, I'm sort of saving that for the questing. I'm hoping to see if it works for your um, your uh, warlock in uh, <clears throat> what's that zone where all the vo the where all the uh, elves are. Um, mm -hmm. The zone in the center of uh, Legion. I'm drawing a man. Suramar? Right Suramar, yeah. I'm hoping to do party sync with uh, Aprilian and Suramar. Oh. We can help, help you find uh, the thing that you're looking for. But mm. we'll have to see if it'll bring me up to your quest area. Oh, interesting. I know I got the level to do it. I just don't know if it'll sync up the quests. Because mm. I was thinking, you know, I know pretty much where all the quests are and I can fly us around to look for quest givers um, I'm just wondering um, my uh, my rust bolt grind and my queen back, back beehive grind my ancorn paragon grind I uh, I had a friend who told me you have to start the beehive mm. and I go I don't want to he goes you don't want to but you have to because you're going to want to do it later and you're not going to be able to down that big elite. He goes, right now what you need to do is you need to go somewhere where you can start the event and people will join in your event. And he goes, once you know how to do that, he goes, you won't have to, it'll get done by itself. Okay, so he, he basically took me by the hand and he led me to the cave where the beehive is and I had my, um, my little uh, flying bee pet my sea, sea breeze bee, uh, bumblebee. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was quite interesting. And um, I, I, it's not too hard to start, uh, but you can see it's going to take weeks and weeks unless you have money to buy the jelly on the auction house. <coughs> and since I'm hoarding my gold to buy the auction house mount, I'm not all the way there. I'm about a quarter of the way there. It's going to be a long, hard grind. A gold grind, a rep grind, and a uh, mount grind. So I kind of put my uh, mount runs aside this week to focus on all the different grinds that I have to do. And occasionally I did the uh, Headless Horseman on low-level characters. You get really, really good XP for like a five-minute fight. You basically get the bonus XP you would get out of the end of the classic dungeon mm. and like one boss kill. That's it. And it, like it, it's super fast. Um, I, when I went uh, with uh, Kyle on Friday, I said, "Oh, I'll switch to tanking spec so we get an instant queue." So he set himself up as a healer, and then it, like it would just go boom as soon as we hit the button <laughs> because there's lots of DPS to do it. Mm -hmm. And I did it on alts that were healers or whatnot it's also it, even at low level you get an insta queue because there's not enough healers and tanks for the so, record mm -hmm. there is no pumpkin according to handy <laughs> notes on the okay, barge so in shimmering flats okay go ahead. i didn't know that i thought there was well, at least i know I'm now go, I'll just i'm gonna go there and dig one up <laughs> now you know man. Now, we know. now we know and uh so i uh I tanked the headless horseman without a weapon. I just didn't have one in my bags. I had the two-handed <laughs> weapon, but I wanted a shield. So I apparently vendored or destroyed or uh, scrapped oh, my main-hand weapon. Happens. So I don't have a main-hand weapon. And I'm like, I'm not going to equip a bind on account or uh, a BOA to tank. So I just tanked it with no weapon in my main hand. And he still went down in record time. Uh, it's like, like I said, you can just trip trip over your sword and going into the room and then stumble about the room, and he's still going to get you can, it down. Yeah, and you can sit over in the Blizzard, corner, right? Blizzard made it so everyone can get the mount with the minimum amount of effort. You just have to be lucky on the uh, loot RNG. box. And I, yeah. I realized that you can get the loot box, the purple one, at level 113. Uh, I don't know how low you ha you can go to get purple. 
but 113 still works and you get a great amount of XP. So if you're leveling a character, you queue for the Headless Horseman while you're doing your quests. That's going to take a little bit of time and give you the equivalent of five quests turn in, which is really, really good XP. Um, yeah. I did terrible, 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 terrible in Hearthstone this week. I, I lost more games than I can recall <laughs> in a single week. I like, Oh my goodness! People have such good desks, good decks. They all have the legendaries, and they have all have multiple legendaries. Like, I had a priest who basically had six legendaries on the board. I'm like, well, this game's just completely hopeless. And then, and then I wore him down, and I wore him down, and I wore him down. And at the end, he threw the game. And I've never had one of those priests who has like the golden hearthstone throw mm. the game. That was like the first, I was like, what did I do? <laughs> I must have irritated him because I, I wore out all his legendaries and he's like, oh, oh, okay. I like how they do win. It is what it is. And uh, I played sometimes at five o'clock in the morning. Five o'clock in the morning is a safe time to play on the West Coast. Six o'clock in the morning is a really bad time to play. Do you know why? The kids on the East Coast are getting up before dawn, before mm -hmm. their parents wake up, and they're hopping on the computer, and they're <laughs> real good. <laughs> they whoop you. Oh, <laughs> oh my funny. goodness. Oh, like at PvP, it was hard. I went to Mechagon. It took me like four hours to do my quest because it was PvP day, and they needed five kills in Mechagon. And basically, you would land, and like <laughs> ten hordes would land on your back. It's like, oh, I, like I was dead so fast. And I tried to find three rares to kill. Yeah, that took, that took basically three and a half hours because as soon as a rare would pop up, the horde would kill it so that no alliance could get any rares down. So I was like, huh, okay. So that's because I'm playing PvP, right? I want the conquest extra for the quest turn -ins. I'm like, I'll do whatever I got to do to get that extra 20% uh, rep or whatnot. So, and uh, I will suffer the the, uh, the insults of the horde. It's fine. <laughs> I did play some uh, Overwatch, like I was saying. There's a, uh, if you, there's a skin you can get for Junkrat if you get three wins. And I got lucky. I got a royal blue outfit for, um, what you call it, the girl with the who does the warping with the pistols? Uh, Tracer. Tracer, yeah, I got it. I got a really cool looking outfit for her. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, that's the, awesome. Hey, it was that's free. The, like, you get yeah. like one or two loot box a day. So, like, I, I got it free. Like, it didn't cost me anything. Like, I lost the game. I still got a loot box. I'm like, yes, I'll take it. <laughs> and uh, I. I played my Zandalari Priest. You get the insta Q for that. I played my No Morlock. I'm trying to level to 42 because at level 42, you get the summoning portal. And you also have the fast mount to ride in the city because sometimes you want to go to the uh, summoning portal and you're trying to summon a character back for Dark Moon Fair. And if, you if you're on the, uh, the, the chopper from the uh, level 1 to 19... It's slow to get there. It's basically walking speed plus five uh, percent or whatever. I don't know what it is, but it's slow. So the twenty percent, the level twenty mount speed is better, and the level forty is even better because you go one hundred percent faster. So uh, I did not venture into classic. I tried. I like. I'm gonna go play <laughs> classic, and I thought, you know, I'm gonna. I'm going to try and sell some vials of sands on Thursday, Friday, because I have a good feeling. And I sold four vials of sand on Thursday, Friday. On classic? Nice. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, if I would have been in classic, I would have been getting a few levels. But in, wow, I like, oh, well, you know, like this, this amount of gold I wouldn't be able to make otherwise. Right. And then I didn't sell anything the rest of the week. It was really, really, really slow week at the auction house. It usually is the week that there's a, a, a holiday, like Hallow's End or whatnot, or the Children's Week. The auction house is dead because people are going for achievements or they're trying to uh, help their friends get the lo strange long lost trip. 
and uh, I uh, I wanted to uh, have a little time to farm mats, but the only mats I could get was uh, Moonlight Ore on Mechagon Island because over there it's plentiful. Nobody picks it up. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, they don't have time. If they're farming the rares or they're farming achievements or they're farming the rep, and uh, Moonlight Ore is a waste of time for them to stop and pick that up. So uh, on my rogue, I'm fortunate. I'm, I have a minor blacksmith on my rogue. I know it's not a popular combination for leather wear, <laughs> but it's been my main character pretty much since the second week I played WoW. I made a uh, orc hunter the first week, and it was okay, but I kept dying to uh, those uh, Makuras. So I stopped playing him for like a long time. Mm. And uh, I was like too tired to do incursions, but I'm back on them a little bit. And there were no war fronts this week up for me. So it's like I could do them horde side, but I, I'd rather invest my time or the little bit that I can to do um, transmutes and whatnot and gather mats because the sales are going to pick up at some point where the price of the ready. tokens is just going to shoot up because not enough people are buying tokens. Mm-hmm. And Blizzard's going to burn gold that way by having the price of the token really high and people are going to spend their money to buy a token and then they're going to sell two vials because they buy one for themselves and they, they buy one for a friend. That's mm-hmm. usually how it goes. Uh, my spouse sent me on a mission on Saturday. She says, my iPad's warm and I can't turn it off. I go, oh, That's not I go, good. it's not going to work. It's not going to work much longer if you keep playing with it. Mm-hmm. She goes, well, you better go up to Metro Town and buy me a new iPad. <laughs> I go, okay, what am I getting you? She goes, the best one. Ooh. I go, put some money in my account. So I went there. I showed up. This wonderful, wonderful, wonderful guy greeted me at the door. He goes, what can I do for you? I go, I would like the iPad Pro. I go, it comes in two sizes. I would like the smaller size. He goes, not a problem, right this way. He took me right to the table. He put an iPad down on the table. It was the right color. It was the right size. It was the right everything. He goes, which version would you like? I go, as big as they come. So I took the one terabyte, and he mm. goes, that would be $18.99. I go, sold. <laughs> he goes, would you like to pen with that? I go, would I ever put that on the list? <laughs> he goes, would you like the keyboard with that? I go, would I ever put that on the list? He goes, would you like the extended plan with that? Covers the pen and the iPad. I go, take it on the list. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> so it took an hour, like 45 minutes to an hour for him to transfer everything to the new iPad. Oh, okay. Because they have, first of all, they have to disconnect you from the iCloud right. for no one to be able to steal your data. Right. Then after that, he offered me to recycle my old iPad. I said, okay, how much do I get? It was thirty dollars. It was sold, <laughs> but it was a really old iPad. Right. Like it was second generation, four mm. years old, and uh, it had a SIM card in it because it was connected to the cellular network, which is insanely handy when you're going to the hospital. Right. And you have the cellular network. If you don't have Wi-Fi, you can still hook up to the internet. Right. So that's that. That iPad served us well because my wife managed to do her emails do the grocery shopping and sell the house with it. So uh, that's it outlived its, its uh, life expectancy by probably three years. And she used and abused that thing 10 hours a day at the hospital or more. So uh, when it went, it, it basically had uh, lived beyond it, the ability of the expect, the, you'd expect the device to survive. Mm. And, but it, and it served you well. Yeah, so after paying about $2,700 <laughs> Canadian, yeah, the exchange rate's not in my favor. It's mm. probably cheaper in the States. But I brought that home, and uh, we did the updates, and the updates, and the updates on the updates, and the updates after the updates, and the updates after the reboot. And after that, she could use it. <laughs> Awesome. That's a lot of updates. There's like five sets of reboots and updates and fingerprints and facial recognitions, and it works beautifully. It's mm. uh, one of the best devices I've ever had the pleasure to look at. Um, it's okay. very lightweight. Uh, no, even though it's got a really uh, heavy battery in there, 
it's surprisingly uh, not heavy. So I don't understand how they make it so light. But uh, it weighs like a pound and a half, two pounds, something like that. Yeah. Very light. And I told her, you're going to play me Hearthstone. Because <laughs> then I can get my quest done in half the time. I can let her win the next battle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Because uh, this week it was demoralizing how many times I lost at the hospital. And today we had a really, really, really tough day at the hospital. Like, I don't know. We came back from the hospital and it was like, I said to her, I said, I got to go lay down. Like, I was frustrated at the nurses. I was frustrated because we didn't know if her health was improving or getting worse. Mm. And she was, uh, like, she was fearful that she was going to end up in hospital. And uh, the call came in at 3.30 saying, yeah, everything's good and it's improving. Oh, oh awesome. God. Congratulations. I was like, oh, we don't need any more problems. We want things to keep improving. Yep. Uh, like, basically, we killed the fat calf and we ate like kings this afternoon. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> and I had a little nap before the show. And, I like, I, I just can't uh, thank the community enough for being there when we need you guys for moral support. It's, you have no idea how uh, enriching it is to have the support of people uh, in the community behind you when something's yeah. not going so great. Yeah. And that's been my week. Awesome. Yay. Wow. I'm so jealous of the iPad. <laughs> it's, worth the, it's worth the money, sadly. Yeah. I Very bet. worth the money. I bet. Um, mine is coming apart on the side, and I, I don't even want to think about trying to replace yeah. it. All right. I feel for you. your weekend well uh, I'm I'm getting I'm getting there that's all I can say I you know I'm, I'm still in Suramar I'm doing all these quests I'm in Suramar City a lot I'm in Masquerade I'm s scooping around the guy the people with the little O's over their head and it's nice because they do have like if you get too close there's like a a wave a circular wave around them that comes out and you can kind of step back I've been doing all the as many quests as I can. I've been feeding yeah. the people in Shalinar. I uh, I got a thou I got to ten thousand again. Uh, so I got another crate and got a bunch of stuff. Um, and uh, there are more people in Shalinar, so I know I'm I'm getting closer and I'm doing the right things. Uh, and it's it's honing my skills as a um, as a warlock. Uh, I um, I ran out of crystals, so I just did silly things like going into fell salt because I have all these portals now. So I can just, you know, when I'm not too busy, but I can't really pay attention to everything. I go in there and you know kill some things and, and mine some nodes, uh, ancient mana. Um, I I did some. Um, I've been going. I've been going back to Ogrima every day to do the do the cooking quest. Well, that's 26,000 XP. Um, I'm, I'm almost halfway to 118. So anything that I can do, because a lot of the stuff I'm killing in Surma, I'm not getting uh, XP for. I ran out of time from Darkmoon Fair, and I lost some hats, which was kind of sad. But I did keep my... A uh, couple of days I couldn't play, but I would just log in just to get the eight... <laughs> Eight more um, uh, um, rep points per uh, feeding those people. Um, what else? Oh, and I found a nice little tip secret that I'm, I, I'm using now. Um, they, when, you, when you teleport into Ogremar using the cape, uh, what is that? The, the thing... Uh, there's the cape you have that you can teleport to Ogamar. Yeah, There's a guild one. Right, the guild one, right? You end up in mm -hmm. in down the stairs in the wall of Ogamar. 
But if you go up, I went, I went investigating. If you go up the stairs halfway and then make a right and go down the steps, there's a portal to the caverns of time, <laughs> which is which was kind of handy while I was doing um, mm-hmm. the buckets. I've been doing them. Uh, I've been playing. I've been uh, doing the headless horseman. Haven't gotten anything interesting, but it is thirty-seven thousand XP, which is nice. And uh, I am now. I finally loaded handy notes. Do you know I had to turn off Wow Pro? <laughs> it might be something. It, I don't know if they conflict or whatever. But I wasn't getting mm. any. Handy notes showing until I turned off Wild Pro and Tom Tom. So, yeah, that was kind of weird and kind of frustrating. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah, I'm um, gonna fool around with that some more. Um, I I did take out a couple of tunes for Dark Moon Fair, but not as many as I wanted to. I'm hoping I'm uh, taking a mental health day tomorrow, so I'm hoping to get some people out before the what time is it over? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll stay up late tonight because it's over tomorrow, right? Uh, uh, yes. It's ending. It says ten eighteen to eleven oh one now. What did I think it was tomorrow? It's not tomorrow. Oh, I got plenty of time then because it's over November first. What did I see? Twelve sixteen. What am I? Am I? No. Huh? I don't know what you're looking at. So, I'm looking at the calendar. And I thought Hallow's Eve is over tomorrow. Oh, no, no. No, no, no it no. can't be because it's We're not Halloween. Halloween Oh, because yet. it's not Halloween yet. Okay, so yeah. yeah. So, I'm going to take out some more tunes. Good, because I'm off tomorrow. Head, the baskets... Head Battle Week is over tomorrow. Maybe that's what I saw. Um, it's head, 13 head, for... Um, a head, pro- head, I'm sorry, go ahead. Hello's end always lasts to, till at least November first. Of course, that makes sense. Which it does, which is does this year. Right, that makes sense. So I'm glad I I, I was panicking for nothing because I wanna I wanna um I was looking at some of the um, rings that people were getting, mm-hmm. and they were getting some really good rings. So I'm hoping to get some of those. Um, and I also been doing some um. Ar- dig, dig, dig. Archaeology. Yeah. That's really good XP. Oh, yeah. Between, you know, all the time I'm spending in Suriname and I'm not getting XP with Aprilia, and that, it makes me feel yeah, guilty. Yeah. So, um, going out, I'm, and I'm doing some pet battles as well because that's great XP. Uh, it's so funny because I think of you a lot now, Constructs, because I have that dude as my, um, instead of Cladius. I have that other yeah. guy. Um, what's his name? Uh, Shadow Breaker? No. Yeah. Is that him? The one that no. makes. What's the one that makes all the noise? Oh, uh, Ritson. Flame Scowl. Yep. That's yeah. Your... That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And remember we, when, we were, when you were taking me around and he kept screaming things? I'm like, dude, you need anger management. <laughs> <laughs> his head's on fire. Yeah, that's, maybe that's why he screams so much. His head's on fire. Yeah, and uh, I'm just uh, I'm gonna just do some more. Um, oh, um, and then there's some things that I, I have to pay attention to. Like I have this, I have things that I can use that I'm not really using, and I pick them up. I don't even know how to them. Use if your masquerade disguise is broken within the next five. Minutes, you will be stealth for five seconds, and a stone, a a drone, a clone will appear. So I have these, the shimmer filled crystals. I mean, you get a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, One of the things I got in the in the the box from getting one thousand, well, ten thousand rep was this thing for. uh, and I gave it to my friend Flame Scout. The bottomless fat flask yeah. uh, increases success chances on missions longer than eight hours. I mean, I'm just, you know, it's you have to you have to really read this stuff. <laughs> and and some of the things I really have to figure out whether or not I need to carry around like this spell volatile spell focus. I have two of them. Do I really need those? 
I'm I'm chucking um, wands. Oh, yeah. and I found a, cra- a quest in the drag where, you know, you got to get some nettles and strange dust and oh, yeah. uh, crystal vials. It gave me like 20-some thousand XP, so it was worth it. But somebody was gouging. They had bought up all the, I guess, strange dust, and you could only buy buy it by 200 on uh, on the auction house for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. For 200 gold. And I'm like, I don't need 200. I did toy with the idea of buying it, buying one stack, and then splitting it up and selling it for a little bit more. But then I'm like, do I really want to spend my time doing that? Blizzard's going to fix the auction house, eh? Yeah, we we can't wait for 8.3 where you yeah. can just buy... You can just buy one. You oh, can wow. just buy one out of the <laughs> stack of 200. And then... If the rest doesn't sell, yeah. the the seller gets the 199 items back, back and the gold for the one that you bought. Oh. Blizzard really, really wants to get rid of the people who list one at a time, mm-hmm. 20 stacks to to block um, yeah. and the the good, people listing. Right. Yeah, and, and another good thing is if, say, you want to buy 50 pieces of something mm. then you enter into the amount button mm-hmm. tab you enter 50 and it will take the first cheapest 50 items Ooh, that's on excellent. the list and well, buy them well, regardless of who they are from and the same thing say you want to buy you have like a hundred gold right. and you want to buy Say strange dust for a hundred gold. You enter one hundred gold, and it will calculate how many you can strange get. dust you can get for the hundred gold and buy those for you. Well, my biggest problem was I knew somewhere one of my tombs had strange dust. No, I don't have. What was that? What's that app? Alcoholic. I don't have that installed. I used to have it installed, but it kept telling me, this is going to expire, this person, da 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 oh, shut mm-hmm. up. So, yeah, I, if, <laughs> if you could turn that one feature off, I would put it back in, but right, you can't. Right, can't, right. <laughs> so, I, um, I went looking, and I found, and I'm like, oh, let me check. And I was like, no, she's a, she's a rogue. Why would she be dis, oh, look. She is a dis- she is an enchanter. And so then I was like, okay, so she's an enchanter. Um, what can I do? How what, what can I disenchant that she has to get strange dust? I know I could look nice. it up and figure yeah. it out, but I just started grabbing stuff that was in her inventory and disenchanting and it wasn't giving me any strange dust. And then I just did a search, you know, in, went to the bank, entered strange dust, and bam, she had 20. So I split her pile up, and I sent two to Aprilian, and mm-hmm. she was able to complete the quest. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, it was, nice. it was very nice. So, um, And I got a little XP, and then it sent me on another quest where I have to go and disrupt something in um, Undercity. I'm assuming this is all related to Hollow's End, so I think I have a little bit more time to, to do it, so... Yeah, and uh, I guess that's been about my week. I'm I am now using Handy Notes. I'm in Oldham. I got a basket, and then I saw a smaller area of um, archaeology, which is you know fantastic. Mm-hmm, yeah. Because sometimes you, they can be bigger, and now you're running further around. So I am now, uh, and now I'm in the middle of a I. Thug, and then I'm in the middle of a pet battle. Um, I I was, and I'm kicking myself now because I was spending enormous amount of time running around trying to uh, find uh, fossils. Mm-hmm. And then, I, and I probably am being too hard on myself because maybe I wasn't sixty six hundred. I wasn't at level six hundred in archaeology, but now I can just go into. Uh, um, uh, Dalinar and go into the, the archaeologist guy there and buy fossils using yeah, to Dalaran and, and you can go to Dalaran you can go to the 
area. Vale of, of Eternal Blossoms, I think, yeah, as well. There's a, yeah, we can go to Brand there. And you can go to... Is there another... Right, but I can go somewhere and trade. Is there one in, um, uh, out in, uh... Wasbeer should be one in Wasbeer, too. Right, Wasbeer, right. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think there should be one there, too. Right, so, uh, yeah, all I have to do now is do archaeology, and I don't have to run around trying to figure out where... do the normal archaeology and then turn the the crates into into fragments or yep right and that's been my week I, uh, I'm hey, having nice. lots of fun I did not do any classic I feel slightly guilty I kind of need to go in and do some because um, I have to keep the, the guild going so no one will steal my guild our guilds from under my yeah. nose. And that's been my week. Hey. Nice. I find it very, very easy to be true. I I'm on a Schoenstein virus talk to house. And I'm so And now it's time for Ed on Spotlight and a whole bunch of other things with Grand Nagus. Grand Nagus, what, what do you have for us this week? Well, Shoot. for me, it's the other way around again. Mm. I haven't done much any, anything but play classic when it comes to in-game. <laughs> so, uh, I, I think I mentioned my dilemma last week with regards to the mage and the enchanting, uh, where I said that I had my enchanter on my normal account, and I couldn't, you can't use vellums, Mm. So you can't put the, you, you can't mail enchanted vellums to another tune, so that makes it impossible for you to enchant your own items. Mm. You actually have to pay someone to or, enchant your stuff. Or uh, your your uh, no, not your own items, your other tunes items. So yeah. either you have to give the mats to another tune to another player right. to then do the stuff for you mm. but that mm. gives them the skill ups right. so what, what unless I you multi box unless you have two enchanters on, ah, on each account. so there Possibly. we go so there we go that's what I chose to do I chose to create a forsaken mage on my second account um, so I, the, the first one I created, the mage, was level 11. And I thought that's kind of okay, yeah, I, I, I just started using all the strange dust and stuff. Right. And skilled to level 60 or 75 or something, but I said that's, that's hardly an issue because... I still have characters that are low enough, that get low enough gear, mm. so I can skill up another uh, enchanter through the, the, the low level stuff. So I thought if I don't do it now, I won't ever do it. So um, on. So you're, act, you're actually going to level two mages. Mage no, leveling is no, hard? No, I'm not. I'm probably going to to uh, delete the the first mage and then okay. cre- and then create a um, an alliance tune on that second 
account on, on the first account. So I can do the same thing on the alliance side as I've done now with the world side. Have the enchanter on the respective other... So, so there's a restriction in Classic. You can't have all your characters on the same account then. There's a restriction. Well, you, you've got access to 50 characters. You can't have more than 10? On one server. On one server. Oh, yes. And yeah. you already made 10. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have... World right. first problems. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, so or a multi boxing problem. Yeah. So I made, I made the, the, the uh, I made nine horde tunes on my main account, plus one alliance that I haven't made yet because I haven't deleted the, the the uh, the first mage yet, but I'm going to. Right, and and on the second account, which is my quote unquote alliance account, when when and if that eventually uh, starts working, it's probably going to, but not for the foreseeable future. Mm. Um, but it's it's there, and the characters are are named and 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 uh, put into guilds and all that. That's that's happened already. And then, like I said, the, the Alliance Tunes Enchanter is on the first account, and the Hordes Enchanter is on the second account. So it's it's, it's always one one and one and one on the on the opposite accounts. So I can then enchant the gear of the other tunes that I have with the enchanter that's on the other account so I don't have the dilemma that I only can log in one tune so it doesn't work. So I'm so it, it's it's uh, it's it's a perfect perfect solution I feel or as perfect as it as it can be. Right. Without involving uh, having to ask for help from another person, right. going out, going out, and then need enchanter to do this and that and the other, I I save lots of tip and tips and all that stuff. <laughs> That's another beneficial effect. Right. So, um, yeah. Uh, that uh, and that new forsaken mage has reached level fifteen as of this recording. Oh, congrats! Thank you. So that's uh, that's okay. And I've started working out a a uh, a leveling guide. Mm. To, or I, I looked for one and see how I can work with the three options that that guide provided. And I tweaked a little here and a little there and came up with, with the one that, that suited my play style and my, my needs the best. So, yeah, and... So I, I made a document, a uh, text document, and put oh, in the leveling... Not a spreadsheet? Path. Yeah, not, not a spreadsheet, basically, yeah. Uh, to get all the stuff that I need there, all the data and all the, the, the leveling path throughout the, the 50 levels that are the leveling levels. The talent levels. Yeah, so that's basically what I did uh, in game last week. As for in real life, I basically uh, have been preparing. Oh, for your trip. For, 
for my trip that starts right. on, on Saturday. Mm. The actual flight is on Sunday, but my trip, I leave here on Saturday. Mm. And then, like I said, last week spent the night uh, near the airport, so I don't have to, to take the train like in the middle of the night. So I don't have to get up that early since 10 and a half or 11 hours flight uh, plus the two hours flight from Hamburg to Paris mm. and then three hours of uh, uh, of waiting and, and, and uh, for, for the next flight it's going to be pretty much the the normal twenty hours that I'm that I'm uh, uh, at at several airports and and in the air. So, did you see that they have a new flight? I think it was was it from New York to Sydney, twenty hours straight. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, I think. I think didn't they didn't they use the new uh, A350 on it? Right, right. But yeah. they have yeah. to get up. They have to the exercise. They there's a whole regime. Mm -hmm. You have to stay yeah. awake a certain amount of time because 20 hours yeah. of flight is just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, they have that. They have the new. Um, uh, the new uh, Airbus. A350. Right. Uh, that's like, I think they calculated a maximum flight uh, time of just shy of uh, 22 hours. Because that's all the gas fuel it can hold. <laughs> yeah, 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 basically. Right, yeah. <laughs> and that's because, basically, because it, the, the engines are so efficient now. Yeah fuel efficient that they can fly as 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 far as they can. It's just crazy. Yeah, and uh, with each new generation of, of of engines it's gonna get better and better. So right. the more you can get more mileage out of the but you have yeah. to feed the people and you have to accumulate human waste and I guess there's other considerations right that play and, and the, the, the human flight. body cannot take uh, you know being like that for too long well jet, li jet lag jet alone lag. will yeah. totally mess you up yeah. and there is a thing now I can't remember I watched a, a, a video on YouTube the other day, and this isn't control or uh, uh, travel <laughs> air, uh, uh, airlines and air, airplanes, but um, they basically have a new system built in since I can't remember when, but they started with it five or six years ago on on. Uh, in the first class and business class cabins, mm. where they uh, put in blue lights. And right. bl blue lighting is apparently um, beneficial. Uh, beneficial for, for uh, keeping people from getting too jet lagged. Because it does something in the brain. It's like, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's interesting that that just a change of lighting does that. But yeah, so now apparently that's that's getting put in as as a standard lighting on these long flights. Right. So yeah, but again, that that's something that you that you always need to take into consideration, right. and uh, a couple of. Friends of mine come over from 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 uh, Aussie land, <laughs> so uh, one one friend is already there when I when I come. It's the first time uh, since I've I've been going to 
to BlizzCon that someone's there ahead of me because I I usually tend to Arrive go early, yeah. Yeah, yeah one day at least earlier so I can like uh, get accustomed to 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 the time change and uh, but normally it's it's not as as bad because I eventually I I uh, get to the hotel late at night or or close to so I can just basically as as sleepy as I am just fall into bed and and, and sleep until the next morning which is perfect it's just that I've been awake for yeah for about 25 hours uh, 25 hours roughly right. because right. it's a nine hours nine hours difference no it's eight hours difference because uh, we get the we get the uh, or it's another year where we get the uh, the time change where that happens again where right. they where they do the the uh, where they wind the clock back one hour. In, That's in, coming up. In, yeah, in Europe, one week ahead of the U.S. Right. So uh, daylight savings disappears. <laughs> the morning that I leave, so it's eight hours time difference. Mm. And, and that means if I'm, say, I get to the hotel at whatever 10 p.m. it's going to be 8 8 a.m. no 7 a.m. 6 6 7 8 6 6 a.m. Uh, the next day mm. so that's that's when i get up or that's when i'm at the airport roughly so that's 20 24 hours plus the hour that, that i get up earlier mm. uh, to get there. So that's, I, I've been... It's a long been day. It, it's been a long day, and I'm, I don't intend to, to, to sleep on the airplane because, again, that would really mess, mess up my sleep cycle. So I never go to sleep uh, on the plane, on the trip, to the U.S. because that's that's just um, not good. Uh, at least I, I figured as much, and I, I I come to come to think that it's it's better to to keep yourself occupied and and uh, uh, and stay awake, and then be be completely. Uh, tired once I then uh, get to the hotel room and then just put the do not disturb sign out and then fall into bed so that's okay mm. and and then eventually when it's like normally it's like mid morning or what not and then get up and, and so that, and I'm uh, I'm quite quite okay, but then I've been sleeping the eight nine hours that I that I normally that you normally do, right? And uh, uh, yeah, and that's that's perfectly fine. So yeah, and then we. We go to to the Anaheim Convention Center, Pick and up your badges. I excuse me. Pick up your badges. Oh no 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 no! That's that that's not on Monday. That's on Thursday. That's oh. the day before the convention. Oh okay. Starts. Mm -hmm. No yeah, what? Yeah. No lineups. Oh, this it's going to be quite different this year because you don't need a physical piece of paper. 
Really? You can use it on your phone? Yes, you need your app. <laughs> that means if you if you got your 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 phone stolen or whatnot, mm. you are out of luck. If it's out of battery or whatnot, make sure to have. If you guys are coming to BlizzCon, make sure to bring a power pack or two or three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and charge your phones before you leave your hotel room if you don't bring them with you. Make sure you have enough charging cables and power out, out outlets in around in the in the Hilton lobby. You can you can charge your phones. Have a charger with you. Have a cable with you. Funny thing I found in a lot of uh, hotel rooms mm-hmm. as I've traveled over the years mm-hmm. is you'll look all over the place and you'll find one outlet. Oh, they have. So now what I do is I bring one of those power bars power from strips. Costco that has the 12 outlets on it. Oh, yeah. So whatever I need to plug in, <laughs> whatever I need to charge, I'm yeah. set up. Yeah, I have, uh, I've, I have two uh, power banks. Yeah. Um, with uh, let me see. Wait, do I have it? Mm. Uh, no, don't have it here. Mm. I have it over over in the suitcase already. <laughs> so it's a, it's a power bank that has that has two two outlets, so I can charge two devices at the same time. Nice. Yeah. And I have a, a a charger with two outlets, uh, with, with with two outlets, so I can charge two power banks at the same time. Which I <laughs> and I have, I have three power banks with me. I have like a very very small one. This one that's that's the smallest one. I have, and then I have a. Uh, Twenty thousand and a thirty thousand power bank, and they can charge my phones up to thirty thousand. One can charge it five times, I think. Yeah, and the twenty thousand can charge it three times. So that should be enough. I I I have my my my, my two phones because this this year. Uh, since we need to have the ticket the on app phone. on the phone, right. yeah, I don't run any risks by taking uh, by by having the app installed on both phones. So in case something happens to one phone, I still have the app active on another. <laughs> I'm not the, on- the other thing. The other thing as a podcaster. You go to listen to the devs, the show ends, you don't know who you're going to run run into off oh, stage. No, no. Like you can run into Sylvanas Windrunner. Oh, yeah. Just, and walking, down, just walking down to con and it's like, yeah. can I talk to you for like two minutes? Like, can you say this line for me? Like. If you don't have your phone, if your phone's dry, oh, the I battery's don't need to, dead. You're like, you're like. <gasps> I don't need to do that. I'll just send you. Oh yeah, you just dial it up on the phone back. now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I just you're, on, I, you're I, on first name basis with the dark lady. Right. <laughs> that that I am, yeah. So, but um, it's it's a how about that cinematic? Eh? Have you seen the cinematics? Which one? The one where Sour Fang does his thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my god. When she looks up, she looks just ready to like murder him. That's what she does. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's, basically, it's, yeah. Basically, yeah. L- literally. <laughs> so um, have have you guys listened to the to the song that that, that, that Charm did? No. It's, it's where's called, where's the link? Can you put uh, the link in the show notes. I can do that. Is there a YouTube video for it? There mm-hmm. is, yes. And I awesome. can like, I, I sure to uh, do that after the show. Yeah, it's called Banshee Queen. Oh. And and it's a, a, a parody on on uh Abbas Dancing Queen. Oh <laughs> that's awesome. Queen. Oh yeah, it 
Right, yeah. I can see that so clearly, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it's so, it, it, it's hilariously awesome. Every, every time Patty puts something cute about pets on the on her uh, Twitter, I always like it. She, like, puts out the coolest stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, and, and then once I, once I get there, um, people start to trickle in over the Monday and Tuesday, and on Wednesday we have the first party, that's DitCon, uh, by... Uh, Bell from 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 Homecast. Homecast, yeah. Um, uh, they they uh, host the the DitchCon party, and then Thursday, as far as I know, we we have. Uh, I, I think it's at six five at five. Or at 6 p.m., uh, come before the storm starts. So, uh, yeah, we have we have that with a whole bunch of of uh, of guests, meet and greet guests and whatnot. It's it, it's just it's so, awesome. Be so awesome. Yeah, I was gonna say that it's gonna be so awesome. Yeah, the, it, it's insane because for the first time. And I'm going to uh, uh, out myself as an absolute uh, Matt Rossi fanboy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, and he's apparently going to be there for the first time ever. So uh, Now, he says he lost part of his vision. Yes. He, so, but he was still able to raid not being able to see the full screen. I'm not sure as to how how degenerative his 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 condition is, but uh, now that is like a serious player because he wrote books. Oh yeah, he's been part of the community for years. He's been involved with um, the lore, and he's like he's he's written books about oh, yeah, about oh. characters and wow, so. It's like somebody from the community is like no, really, his, really. Uh, his books are work. are not about not about wow characters. They are like normal normal books about other stuff. But uh, uh, he wrote a book called Paladin of the Faith, I think. That yeah, but that's not. One. But that, as far as I know, isn't it isn't a wow book. But anyway, or yeah. a Warcraft book. But be that as it may. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to to meeting him. I met Anne Stickney the first year I was there. Mm. And uh, apparently she's not going to be there this year. But, oh. uh, but uh, yeah, getting, getting to meet uh, uh, the other big law guy... Is is, is 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 just awesome, and I, I there are there are so many so many people that I that I would like to meet that aren't there, mm. but on the other side there are quite a few that I haven't met yet, that haven't that haven't been at BlizzCon the last three years, so I think that evens it out, and. Uh, yeah, I just need to to make a, make a schedule as to who I'm going to talk to when and yeah. So because quite a few people are are uh, in the first batch of meet and greet, and then uh, I think there are like four or five. Uh, hours and they have uh, most of them I think at least half of them are almost filled up mm. but yeah and uh, it's something that's always always been fun always always awesome 
And I really, really look forward to, to doing that. And then Friday, we don't have, we, uh, yeah, we have the, the um, first day of BlizzCon with the reveal. And yeah, or the multiple reveals, the, the opening uh, spectacular I, um, prob is probably what it's going to be because I, I, I can't see anything going wrong uh, this year if, if half of what, what's hinted at or what's, what's uh, being put out there as rumors or whatnot. If, if if just half of it is true, it's going to be an awesome, awesome thing. So, right. People ask or speculate about three or four different Warcraft-related things, or five if you want to include the fact that we don't have um, a release date for Warcraft 3 yet. Mm. If you December at, 31st, 2019. It's not it's a on release, my launcher. It's not a release date. It only says release at the latest or before or something to that effect. Okay. It's not a release date. So... Some people say that it's going to release at at the opening ceremony, basically. <laughs> Which, yeah, that's okay. Or or they will definitely, or they will probably, they might uh, tell us a, a a release date. So yeah. I can go with whichever. I don't really care that much about us getting a release date. I think that we all know that we have plenty of stuff to do in the Warcraft universe. Right. So, uh, and then people speculate about how, where Warcraft or World of Warcraft Classic is going to uh, head. Are we going to see a World of Warcraft Classic Plus <laughs> where they are going to add new content to, to the Classic servers beyond the vanilla content? Right. Or are we going to get the Burning Crusade and uh, uh, Lich King uh, Classic versions? Uh, I don't. I don't care for both. Uh, for for either of it. I'm hoping they come out with the VR version of World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah, why not? But it's uh, perfect for it. when I when I went in to VR um, mm -hmm. in World of Warcraft. It was like being. It, I was in Ogremar and I was standing next to guards, and it yeah. was the skins are perfect for it. And I think it could be done so wonderfully. But, but a brilliant, mm. if you're honest, mm. we don't need a new version for it. No, you don't need a new version. You just need a way of accessing it or a, you need a you an need app an to use. Right, exactly. It doesn't have to be a you new version. They yeah. just need an interface. Exactly. You need a super-duper add-on written by a smart, smart person. You can't even do that. Because, no. Because the best add-on doesn't yeah. work without the physical API uh, no controller or right. keyboard right. and that's the that's the issue you need a, a you need some some way to to uh, to handle all the buttons because because your, uh, your basic game in VR has shoot trigger move and yeah, that's yeah. it there's yeah, nothing so what so what you want basically is a Diablo style right. uh, control 
four and four, uh, or uh, uh, the one that they made for the um, for the uh, console. Right. So you can use a, a uh, controller. You can even use a, a, a PC controller. That's not a problem. But no, just, you need just having to be able to sign the buttons to the right thing. And there yeah, are add-ons that do that, but they don't do it ele- elegantly enough. Yeah. What if What if Apple came out with a plug-in for Apple Siri? Apple doesn't do VR. Yeah, but they do while on the Mac, right? Right, yeah. But so what if a really smart smart Apple developer came in with a, a tool set for Siri to uh, add stuff to your controller on demand? Mm-hmm. Siri, give me combat options, or Siri, give me co- different controls. The VR you can, only works on Windows and Android. And you cannot have voice activation. It's too slow. Yeah. Way too slow. But I see what you're saying. Yeah. It's a nice thought. Yeah. What you want to do is you want to have... A, basically, what you want, if you if you remember back to one of the episodes, and there are multiple, where you, uh, where you had Geordie work on Jada's brain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that form of... That... that sort of interface would work where you have go directly from your brain into the game. Right, exactly. That would be fast enough. But that would like completely bypass bypass the the controls. But as long as the holodeck when Ensign Barkley was hooked up. And he took the enterprise that far, far, far away planet through a wormhole he created with his mind. Yeah, so, but as long as you need to interact yeah. physically in some way with your hands, you need an interface that, that works with whatever you hold in your hand, be it a, a joystick, be it a controller, be it a keyboard and the mouse, it doesn't matter what. It needs to, to, to work, and that is... Uh, one of the uh, collaborators on uh, the HoloLens 2 from Microsoft was describing how having enhanced reality partial, other people can see what you're doing and you can see part of what they're drawing on your uh, peripheral vision. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if uh, something like that where you could push back the screen and then maybe have a keyboard on the side. You could hold your hand up to punch in the codes. And that's in, that's right, something like that would work. Or even if I had a virtual keyboard in front of me while I'm in the game, that would even work. Just a, a disclaimer for the uh, the uh, normal people out there: Hololens Two is minimum two thousand bucks. Right, right. right. <laughs> it's not cheap, and mm-hmm. Microsoft limits how many they sell to control the the flow of that technology outbound. So I've been while we've been talking on during your segment. I've been uh, pet battling in Aldor, and I've gone yeah. from 62% to 72% just by pet battling. Every pet battle I've been doing, I get 10%, 2%. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So nice. I'm like three quarters of the way to 118 just from pet battling. Wow. Nice. Yeah. That's good. It is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. The only sad part when you get to max level in pet battle is you have no gear from pet battles. Like, <laughs> you draw physical gear. So right. I maxed out a character before in uh, Draenor, and then you try to fight anything, and you die so fast. Mm-hmm. But the heirloom yeah. gear does count. Oh, and I did do yeah. something very silly. I, I, I was battling and getting ready to capture a dung beetle, but the little thing didn't come up. And I wanted it because it was blue, and it was because I already had three that weren't oh, blue, yeah, yeah. and it was just sucked. So. Oh, yeah. Anyways, go ahead. What do you, did, did you do add-ons yet, or did we, are we distracting? No, not yet. Okay. Um, Grand so, Niggas, do you have a pet that you use in the Classic? Yes. That follows your mage around, or your 
Yes. You have a mechanical, what, what pet would don't that you have be? a mechanical squirrel, don't you? Right. The yeah. mechanical squirrel, a craft, he can uh, make them. and then when somebody points at it and go, "Oh, that's cute," you mm -hmm. try to sell them one. That's a good uh, <laughs> selling feature. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I crafted at least fifteen, twenty by now. So wow, yeah, yeah. I wish I was half as smart in uh, a classic gold as you are, because then I, I could uh, gold cap quicker. In that in that space because it's, it's very it's for me it's very hard to understand the game when I can't oh, find where to, where to turn into quests. They don't sell for anything. Yeah, mm. it's just that that in the guild in the one guild I'm I'm in. I just said, guys, if you want that oh, stuff, wow. just send me the mats, and that gives me a skill point. So basically, oh, awesome. Yeah, very so, smart. Mm. Uh, so. But send me the mats and I'll, I'll craft you one and send it back and I'll get my skill point. So that's... That's it. That's, that's the win-win. Yep, exactly. Mm. And the same thing is going to happen eventually once I get the, the uh, recipe for the life lifelike mechanical yeti. Ooh. And uh, I'm just going to... Uh, Give them away? No, not give them away, but, but but tell people, give me the mats and I'll craft you one. Oh, yeah. Except for your so, guild leader, you might. Oh, yeah. Give no, 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 no. Guild leader one. <laughs> no, no. Those are way too expensive. Are they the really? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll give the mats oh, yeah. then. Oh, my God. My turkey um, has gone from uh, level 7 to level 17. Nice. nice. Yeah. You need to be level 19 to get to 25. So, yeah. so that's not, not, you're not quite there. I do the Ashley fight in uh, Shadow Moon Valley and mm -hmm. the Nagra fight in uh, Frostfire Ridge because those are so lucrative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's get back and finish up the, the uh, BlizzCon stuff. Um, uh, I really look forward to, like I said, with with uh, uh, to see what they come up with, with regards to to Warcraft, World of Warcraft, what they do, what they dis what they've decided on. Because by now they have decided, I would imagine, just that they haven't, haven't announced it. Uh, announced it yet. Uh, mm -hmm. With regards to retail. Uh, it would surprise me greatly if we get a WoW 2. People mm -hmm. say that uh, some people uh, think that they're going to release a WoW, a WoW 2, but I don't think so because had they had the intention of releasing a WoW 2, they wouldn't invest as much. In WoW Classic. I I think Blizzard... No, not, in, not in WoW Classic, but in retail. They wouldn't release another allied race. They wouldn't release this, that, or the other. I, I can't. think, I think yeah. Blizzard learned a lot from making the Overwatch game. They were originally wanting that to be uh, in a... Uh, uh, MMO space, but they, mm -hmm. they realized just how big and with the backstories and everything, just how enormous. And, like, they ended up making the PvP version, but they had so many maps from all over the place that they created, and now that is that is available for their um, 6v6 or their uh, payload or whatnot. They have lots of maps, oh, yeah. but what they don't have is another MMO out there that like that we only take away from WoW basically yeah. Malahon said he would love an Overwatch MMO everyone would I think uh, yeah the question is and we haven't heard anything about it lately but people have apparently found stuff 
uh, where we get a, uh, Overwatch 2. Mm. Um, I'm not sure. I, I, it, it's been a while since I've heard or, or read the article about what uh, Overwatch 2 was going to be. Uh, I don't know. I mean, getting more story is always good, in my opinion. And Overwatch is a really popular uh, story. Yeah. Uh, uh, besides the fact that it's quote-unquote only a uh, first-person shooter, for that, having a, a deep lore as it has is is quite quite unique. So, Mela said, says or Overwatch movie. Yeah. Uh, my thought, and I can't remember who said it on Twitter the other day, uh, but they were asking about predictions, and I. Uh, when I when I thought about what predictions I would make, I am under the impression that people a while back said, and with each new cinematic that Blizzard releases, the same topic and the same discussion gets rekindled that we could use a WOW TV series <laughs> like on Netflix. Right. Much like much like uh, the, the animated uh, Avengers or stuff on Netflix or, or stuff like that. Something to that effect. Uh, I would really, really love to see something like that um, it would really be awesome because we have a over, oh, over we have a Warcraft movie already, and uh, we know that Blizzard can pull it off. If anyone can pull stuff off like that, it is Blizzard. There is, and the, I mean, people. I don't want to say other games aren't as good. As, as blizzards or have their own standing, but when it comes to to um, cinematics and whatnot, if you just look at the the rendered CGI cinematics for BFA from the first one, and they, I'm absolutely certain that they just created one long cinematic and then chopped it up as we know by now, because the first scene showed us uh, the dark lady running up the steps right. uh, uh, of the uh, city walls of Lauderon, and the end of the movie was, was uh, the corpse of, of Thar Fang being carried in into Orgrimmar. That was one one long movie. Yes, it was. I'm sorry. That just makes me so emotional. Yeah, but but that that it is, and 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 if they can if they can make something like that, it's yeah, and, and I. I wonder how long they've worked on it. Right. I really would like to know, and that's like one of the things I'm definitely going to talk to to uh, Taryn about, Taryn Gregory, mm. about the behind the scenes of that of that movie, and uh, it's it's just. Insane what they what they are able to do, and having having that 
made into a uh, TV series or something, or a, a movie of that magnitude right. would be would be awesome if they would if they would make like a 90 minute movie that would be just awesome and and if they were two years on it so be it I mean okay they should probably work on something in game as well right. on the side somewhere <laughs> in a little uh, closet or in a <laughs> but uh, <laughs> satellite office but, yeah, but 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 still, it's something that that uh, there's so much talent in the cinematics department at Blizzard, so it's it's a waste. And I can totally see them announcing something like that mm. because, as I can't remember the exact words that were spoken last year, but I think. Someone from the devs team said, "If there is last year, that if there is one, if you are able to come to only one BlizzCon in your life, this is the one. The 2019 one is the one. So, and I mean, if you if you think about what they've announced and put on the." PTR for 8.3. That alone is is already awesome. And the fact, in my opinion, that they introduced Nyalotha, the the uh, the Black Empire's capital. That's something that. Uh, I really look forward to exploring more and I cannot I cannot state this emphatically enough. It's it's they will not just let it go. Naya Lotha is not uh, Argus, like off somewhere on the other side of the galaxy where you need to a a uh, a spaceship to go to and uh, through a portal or whatnot. It's right here. It's right on Azeroth. So it's not an issue with we can't ever go back there. Um, it's something that you can interact with over and over again if you choose to write the lore accordingly. So... I can't see them not wholeheartedly uh, doing that. And then if they were to, quote-unquote, waste Naya Lotha and its story on a mere point three patch, then that mm. would be such a waste. Right. Much like, in my opinion... And I've talked about this before. Argus should have been its own expansion. But again, that's that's my my point of view. And uh, I would have been able to tell them at least five reasons and and uh, talking points for why. And what they could have put in there. But yeah, so 9.0 is going to be what I what I predict is going to come, not while wow 2.0, we're going to to, to see uh, a 9.0. And uh, what that is going to be, I have no idea, but I think it's very, very likely that the Naya Lotha and uh, and all that stuff and the consequences from uh, the outcome uh, of the nine uh, of nine point three of eight point three uh, what that what the outcome there is I'm not going to spoil anything 
Um, that that uh, that's going to have its, its its consequences, obviously, and then we get to deal with those in in 9.0. So, yeah, that for for Warcraft is what what I what I hope for that we that we get that, and then. Like I mentioned before we started the show, um, we have the Diablo issue. Mm. Last year we had the Diablo Immortal mobile game announcement uh, that, uh, to put it mildly, fell flat on its face. And I think that's, that's hyping it. So... <laughs> That wasn't very well received. Mm. Um, this year, though, if what I've heard and read is correct, if it is a legitimate article, I haven't seen a a uh, a physical copy that confirms what I've seen on on MMO Champion if that ad is is right is a true article and not just a a, a picture of a of a uh, article that's been of an ad that's been doctored and been faked, then we are going to get Diablo 4 this year because the ad in a German magazine, German gamers magazine called GameStar, is uh, they've apparently launched this ad with the headline um, for a book Mm. Uh, with an art book with which the, where the headline states basically launches or release in early November pre-order now oh so and the the uh, the text that tells you what's in the book states that it's going to be roughly 500 art pieces from Diablo, Diablo 2, 3, and 4. Mm. And oops, oops, Diablo 4 well, hasn't even exist. been announced yeah. yet. <laughs> it's artwork from the future. So, either... Spoilers. Spoilers. Yeah, either some idiot... In the in the uh, layout department, the internet. Uh, no, no, the 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 guy that printed the magazine. Right, made the a layout mistake. Department. Yeah, they made <coughs> made a boo boo and 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 put in the the art the uh, the, the article when it shouldn't have been there yet, or they they just. Uh, put the Diablo 4 in there where it shouldn't have been. Something like that. Right. I mean, from where, how it's worded, I can't see the article being uh, intended for release in November because it wouldn't make sense to say uh, pre-order now when it's already launched in November. Right. And that's when the when the when the ad is is going to be in the magazine. So that doesn't really make sense. So, and then on the other hand, why why put why leave the Diablo Four out? It really it doesn't it doesn't really make sense. Either way, it, it, it's. 
something that, that yeah, I don't know. It, 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 has, it, it, it seems legit, but I'm not 100% convinced. It, it has its, its logical uh, shortcomings. It, it, it's not too... It's not, I'm not sold all the way with that. But Diablo 4, I would really like to see that sometime, I would say, late next year or early 2021. Mm. Because as we know, game development uh, takes a while. Okay. And uh, Diablo 3, I think they took about a year and a half from from the first um, teaser trailer announcement. So, but we'll see what 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 that uh, is going to be. And until then, we always have that uh, immortal thing that no one really wants to play. But again. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, really, it was it, it, it was a disaster. Uh, Taliesin has a different term for it that I'm not going to use here. <laughs> clean tag, clean tag. Clean tag, yes, very much so. And uh, it's it's something that uh, yeah. And then we have. Most likely with, with Overwatch, we get the new hero. We get one or two new maps. Uh, with uh, Hearthstone, we probably get a new, uh, a new expansion. Heroes of the Storm, maybe a new hero, although we just got a new hero. Right. So... We don't need another hero. Oh, sorry. I mean, you can never have enough, yeah, but uh, with their release uh, cycle nowadays, after they... In the early days when it was fully... Support, fully when, when the development team was fully staffed and they were completely behind it, mm -hmm. they released a hero every one and a half month or something. Mm -hmm. And now they're up to every three or four months, something like that. So it's it's really it's really slowed down and it's not as as uh, um, yeah they they basically let the air of the out of the bag for that game, sadly, very, very sad, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, in my opinion, it, it's one of the the uh, examples of how do you, who can kill a Blizzard game, only fastest, Blizzard can do right. that. <laughs> and if they intend to kill it, then go right ahead. And apparently that's what they did. Because, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's basically what I what I think that uh, uh, let's see what 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 does matter say here, maybe two cinematics for wow or overwatch. Mm. Um, I would think we definitely matter we get we definitely get the launch or, or the release cinematic for 8.3 um that is in my opinion almost almost a given mm. and then are we going to see a repeat from the team having the 9.3 uh, launch cinematic uh, ready uh, I don't know I would like to see it but I could 
understand if they had enough to do with the with the BFA movie, which I'm going to call it now because again, like we talked about it earlier, that that's basically what it is. And I hope that they're going to do a similar thing in 9.0 uh, or in 9.x because we are going to have and, and I hope that, that it's going to be be as as good cinematics wise as as the BFA stuff was because people can say whatever they want and they can say they didn't like BFA as a game and have their their issues with it. But if you look at the cinematics department's output, what they did there, it's top notch. It's it, the, you can't you can't do any better in the industry, in my opinion. And uh, I don't think that they are going to go back uh, below that standard. We know that, that if Blizzard does something right, they're always going to uh, want to aim for, for, for higher goals. Right. So I'm, I, I don't see how they can do it any better, but yeah, it's something that, uh, that we, I definitely look forward to, to see what, what they come up with. So, um, 8.3 cinematic is a given. 9.0, I'm hopeful, not positive, but hopeful that we're going to see something like, like the uh, into a cinematic for for BFA, which they premiered in 2017 um, right so so that is something that uh, yeah um, overwatch they are definitely going to to have a, a movie for the new hero that much is it's almost a given. Um, because, yeah, that's just the perfect, uh, it's, it's, um, the perfect setup to, to highlight their work. So if I was the, the uh, department, the uh, cinematics department or the marketing department or whatever you want to call it, uh, I would say if this hero has to, is going to be released at BlizzCon, that's an automatic cinematic. And uh, there's just no, no buts or ifs, it's just a given. So yeah, so we might end up with three cinematics, my love, which I can totally live with. And let me say this: the um, he was no, no, the Hearthstone cinematic, the last one, uh, the one for the uh, Old Doom. I really, really loved. Not only the cinematic, but the music for it, the 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 score, the song. Um, it's my second favorite after the uh, Kobolds um, one. That's still my my. Uh, no, no, sorry, not Cobras, the Goblins and Gnomes. That's my, that's my favorite one. And this one is, is, is a close second. So, 
I think that uh, um, what they've done there uh, in that department, and the same thing with with uh, with the uh, with the tavern um, cinematic they released. I think was it the first or the second one where the girl was in. Uh, mm. They've they've really done a great job with those as well, and um, I hope that they continue continue with that. That they're not only going to to have great visuals, but also have great sound and 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 music to it, because that that makes it. So much better, even if you can, if you can make it that much better. Yeah, and that, and then we have the different panels, and I'm going to make this short now because I've talked way too long. Uh, but I. If you if you have the the um, virtual package, the virtual ticket, you can you can watch everything. If you don't have the virtual ticket and you're not intent to get it, you can still watch the opening ceremony. But why would and you if, not get the virtual ticket? I don't understand. Yeah, I mean you don't people, really have to eat every day. No, that's right. And if if I'm not mistaken, and I'm not sure because I've never bothered to bother to care <laughs> about it, um, and I've never checked on it. I think you can watch all of the um, the uh, games in the in the in the different uh, competitions. Mm. I think for free, if if I'm not mistaken. So all the the uh, Hearthstone and uh, WoW Arena matches and Overwatch and all that stuff, I think that's for free as well. But I'm not positive, but I think I'm almost positive. So yeah, but I mean, why wouldn't you want to? To watch a potential dark lady on on the stage for a third consecutive time. Well, why don't you want to give Blizzard money? That's yeah. Yeah, Blizzard, yeah. take my money. Do you want my pen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but I mean, with the with the voice actors stage right. with um, Andrea Torres, that's definitely going to be a highlight for me and I'm going to do the same thing that I did last year mm. I'm going to be lying right there mm. to then get a seat and then see if I can uh, get a couple of, of, of uh, interviews secured mm. because Last year, I completely forgot. The only thing I forgot at home were my my business cards. Oh no! Yep. So this year, I uh, yeah, I'm I have a, I'm going to get a couple of more, couple of hundred more. Now and then, and then bring them so I can hand them out to the uh, to the actors, so I can see if I can get a couple of interviews. Uh, so see if we can we can get that to work. But yeah, and then you have the the. Uh, different behind the scenes stuff you have the what's next panels for the different games uh, you have uh, the contests um, mm -hmm. 
cosplay contests and, and all that stuff, which is which is, and then we still do not know who is going to be the musical act. I can't remember when we got the uh, the announcement last year, but yeah, I don't know. It, it's and we haven't had anything. And Ro from Realm Maintenance said that on Twitter the other day. And he rightfully stated that, that nothing nothing there yet. And I and I said in in response that we don't we don't have a musical act yet. We don't have anything um, additional on the virtual ticket. Mm. Remember last year you had all the, the mini clips, the movies, the little uh, behind Extras, the scenes yeah. stuff, mm -hmm. extras? Nothing. Mm. Nothing this year. No no vault videos, no uh, fans can create their own uh, uh, panel competition, selection, whatnot. Nothing. So... I'm not sure what that's all about. If they just don't have time enough because they're too occupied with what the whatever. Heck happens or Sophia's. Oh, or, or if it's just that they thought that for a higher price last year, which is when last year is when they bumped up the price. They have to add something new. And now, because the price stagnated, mm. it's well, the same price as last year. They don't need to give us anything else but the, but the bare minimum basics. I'm not sure how to, how to interpret this, but yeah, it's, it's just something that uh, I don't know what to do with. Mm. It, it, it's curious to say the least and uh, yeah and then that's basically what what BlizzCon is going to be about mm. and at the end like I said the until now unknown musical act ends the show and then we have the obligatory Hilton lobby get together at the end, which we already do since Wednesday. So we have a four day party mm. Wednesday, Thursday, no, five days even Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. No, Saturday. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Sunday night isn't, but, but, but Saturday night. So. It's four nights, four, ni four nights of partying in the Hilton lobby, where I really hope, but I think it's not going to happen that we get a somewhat quieter DJ. And please, for the love of me, it, I don't care whether it's it, it's the Nats or the or the Astros. Please, please. I don't want any any World Series when we when we party there. <laughs> so please get get the World Series done before before Wednesday. I mean, I'm I'm grateful that we don't have the the uh, uh, the Dodgers and or the the uh, the Yankees. The PvP starts like one week before? Yes. But that's not something that you can watch. Yeah, well, I think the BlizzCon virtual ticket allows you to watch some of it. I don't think so. The Hearthstone or whatnot. It's like it'll come up on your things, such and such is live. And it's um, not the whole thing, but like a couple streamers might, or whatnot. That might be, but if it's, if it's a stream... Then it's not official 
It, it, it is on the BlizzCon. Like yeah. if you log into your virtual thing, it brings it up for you. Yeah. Okay. So that might be that. There's the schedule. Does it say this is going to be broadcast live, or is it just a normal schedule? Uh, squirts up. Squirts up. Squirts up. It's Super Squirt Day. Oh, nice. Grats! Everyone a <laughs> squirter. <laughs> nice. Uh, yes. I got... Anyway. So, random bit there. Yeah. So, um, yeah. It's something where I, where I just, just don't know. So we won't have you next week, but we... Uh, you won't have me the next two weeks. Right. If anybody... Because I... I get back on the 9th, I think. Let me just check the calendar. No worries. Uh, But if anybody wants to uh, step up and join us, I'm looking at you, Jeppy. Or Mm -hmm. Kyle. I would love to have Kyle, but I know he's very, very busy. Yeah, I'm... I'm... uh, You might send us some clips, though. That would be nice. I can see what I can do. (laughs) I'll see what I... Uh, I'll uh, I'm sure if I can convert the stuff with what I have. I might might see if I can. Well, whatever you can send me, I can convert. Have. Okay. I have the tools. I have the talent. Good. Yeah, the next two weeks, the twenty twenty eighth and fourth, is when I'm when I'm in Anaheim. I'm flying out on on the sixth. Uh, and then I'm home the 7th, and then the next show is on the 11th, so yeah. 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 All right. Well, we hope you have a lot of fun, wish we would could be with you, and uh, maybe next year, I might. Maybe next year, yeah. yeah that would open. Yeah. That would be cool. That would be awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. Anything uh, add-on-wise? Uh, I think we talked about yeah we did uh, we, we we talked about uh, handy notes earlier mm-hmm. and the fact that you can have you can install that and the respective model for for Hello's end if you need to know where a certain uh, in is. So you can get your trick or treating done. Yeah, um, it's really nice because it takes it away after you. Yeah, after you get it, it. It, it will take it away. That's correct. But uh, yeah. I think we'll leave it with that, okay. and that's been my week. Awesome. It's time for email now. Email, folks. Email, email, You've got mail. Email. Who's next? I'm addicted to you, baby. <laughs> and we got an email from Kyle. And you know, Kyle, we really appreciate it. We know how busy you are. And Kyle writes, hello, all. Here are my audios for the week. This week's Blast from the Past is from episode 390. Enjoy, Kyle. All right, well, let's start off with Kyle's week. And I'm always excited when Kyle gets to play, so this is, this is good. Hey, Control It Well, Kyle here. Um, had a bit of gaming time this week, had a lot of fun. Um, on my main, I completed the rest of the war campaign quests and got to see all those cinematics and got my title, Veteran of the Fourth War. So that's another thing I can cross off my list. And then I also did the um, Volpira world quests when they came up. So slowly earning my rep because I'm pretty much guaranteed to expect to, that you need Exalted to get that allied race. So I'm just working my way up there. So that way when the patch drops, I can just roll Volpira. I don't know what class yet, but that's a, you know, just kick that can down the road for later. Um, let's see. And then I started doing some leveling on my mage on Earthen Ring, Quilava. So I've just been doing a combination of some quests that I haven't done in a long while, plus island expeditions, plus uh, dungeon queues. So 
rotating between those three times to keep it a bit um, fresh and not stale. You know, it's not like I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again, which is one of my biggest complaints this expansion because with only three zones, if you're leveling alts, it's just like, I've already done this. I've already done all of this. There's like nothing extra to me to level, which is I'm kind of disappointed that Horde can't, the Horde and Alliance can't like level in the other zones, but whatever, whatever. So yeah, anyway, I got her up to 115-ish, I think, which is pretty good. And then um, I also started doing some of the Halloween stuff. Um, I tried to see if I could level through trick-or-treating, but at 110 to 115, I'm only earning like 1% or 1.5% per trick-or-treating. Uh, granted, there's a lot of trick-or-treating going around, so you could probably get like a level, maybe two, but I just wasn't that patient. I got maybe like a half levels worth out of all the trick or treating I've done, uh, cause I want to save up cause there's a lot of, uh, toys and pets that I haven't gotten yet before. And unfortunately they're all 150 tricky treats and yeah, trick or treating, you only get, I have only been like three to five or three to six candies per trick or treating. So that's, yeah, I don't know if I want to grind all that out. And then um, also since it's Halloween, I was doing the Headless Horseman. So, you know, I just on the very first day when the holiday dropped, you know, I just did uh, did the dungeon on my one tune and, you know, whatever, did the thing. And then when I started leveling my all Quilava constructs, I was like, hey, have you done the um, Haunted Horseman yet? Do you have them out? And I go, well, no, not yet. But, you know, I've just been kind of doing a little bit here and here. He's like, oh, here, I'll tank for you so you can get easy cues. Let's see if you can get you that mount. And so I'm like, oh, okay, sure. And, you know, I also kind of jokingly mentioned that I was listening to an old episode that will be coming up in the blast from the past in a couple weeks about how one person was getting really lucky with all these drops. So, you know, I jokingly said, oh, ha ha, maybe I'll get the mount because, you know, I just listened to that, whatever. Um, so, you know, I hopped on my tunes and we did the headless horseman, you know, of course the first couple womp womp, I got a sword, I got nothing, blah, blah, blah. And then on my sixth tune, my sixth try that day, I got the headless horseman mount. Yeah. So that was kind of like, oh, did they up the drop rate on this? I have, I, it just, it just seems so easy. I've never gotten it yet after all these years. And he's like, nope, some people just get lucky at the start of the year and you're one of them. It's like, oh, cool. And so he, I um, took a screenshot, I posted it on Twitter as proof that I actually got it, and yeah, so that was actually kind of neat. I now have the Headless Horseman mount. I Yeah. It's no Love Rocket, but, you know, well, I like the Headless Horseman mount better than the Love Rocket anyway, but the Love Rocket is more rare, so it's kind of like that swag factor. Anyway, so that's been my week. Hope you've all had a great week, and until next time, take care. Bye. Oh, hi! Good for you. You got them out. Um, Congratulations. Yeah. Sometimes it dropped, the- it dropped fairly quickly for him. He spent all of uh, 20 minutes, I guess, on the first day doing that. Well, sometimes you get the, sometimes the, most of the time the RNG gets you, but sometimes you get the RNG. Excellent. Mm-hmm. And I know what you mean about doing the same things over and over again. It does, it can, it would be nice if we could go and level and get quests in other areas. But it would be a lot of fighting, wouldn't it? Because you'd constantly run into people. Well, maybe maybe he just needs to take a page from you and just do pet battles. Right, right. <laughs> Which... And and Mana in the chat room says he will be doing a lot of what people characters. Nice. So... Yeah. All right. Yep. And now it's time for Kyle's Blast from the Past. Have you guys all had the um, background downloader, downloading the patch? Yeah. 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 You've done that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Took a long time. Mine did that well, really huge yeah. crappy one, and then it then it went. Then they said, "Oh no, no, oh, sorry, that was the wrong one." So, yeah. oh, that's yeah, really? You had wow. to change the settings. I found Tidra. It was I. I did it on my PC, and I was like, "Oh wow, it's like nine gig or something." And oh, this is gonna take forever. So I ran it overnight and ran it um, when I went to work. So by the time I got home, I thought. 
oh, it's still downloading so, so slow. It's still got like three gig to go. And then I looked and went, oh, you can change the settings. It's on 100, whatever it is. Uh And if I put it to zero, it downloads like... (laughs) Like, oh, really? Yeah, I did the yeah. same thing. I let it run overnight and all the next day while I was at work. And yeah. I, I looked at the settings and I thought, well, it's been going this long anyway. I might as well just get into it. Yeah. It comes so when I did the laptop, now. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So when I did the laptop, I, I just automatically went into settings, change it to zero. And I don't know, in the space of maybe half an hour or something, it was done. I was like, oh. Okay. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, so it was you know it was done a lot quicker it's than they do that what now, I had because so. the old patch system used to just take your entire mm. connection. Mm. Yeah, and yeah. basically you yeah. were buggered and you couldn't do anything else while it was running. Mm. So at least you have that option yes. now to perhaps make it a little wee bit slower, so you can still watch Netflix. Mm. <laughs> nice. When we face the Lich King, so. Spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> What's this? Four year, six year. How many years? Still too spoilers. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a little while, but it um, what happens with the Lich King is that during the fight, Uh-oh. that's okay. You can do the la la la, Jackie. Yeah, it's um, okay. La, 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 um, la, 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 la. If you want to fast forward and avoid the spoilers, <laughs> yes. Do it now, do it now, because I'm going to tell you. Um, so during the fight, everyone dies. Lichy, <gasps> he kills us. We all die. And you're so, all there, but you don't release, because if you release, oh, that's just mucks everything up. So um, for us, so there was the, we wrangled in a couple of people. I think there was about 10 of us, and um, Wingy and I didn't die. <laughs> We actually yeah. stayed alive. Oh, wow. So, so the first screenshot that I've got there is this is, this is, um, I'm on the left and we use on the right. And it's, it's, um, I took a whole heap, but this particular one, it kind of looks like he's doing lightning that's, you know, coming from us. So it looks, so I called it I'm alive because it just looks like he's going, ah. You know, you're alive, you're alive, Frankenstein, yay! So, um, so yeah, so th- that was that was kind of cool because I think that's the first time that I've lived through, <laughs> I've ever lived through that fight. Wow. <laughs> that was quite funny, and I had to not bug it out or anything because he's he only has so much health, and you you've got to let the the role play, you know, kind of take its effect before you can. You don't want to kill him too fast, but. That was that was good fun, and then the other uh, achievement there was uh, getting the twenty five man, um, twenty five man, and the what was it? Yeah, having a mental blank. So that was the heroic fall of the Lich King, as well as the the light of the dawn achievement. So so that was very exciting, and and. Um, we all got that. So that was like, yay! yay congrats. congrats to Grand Negus says in ICC that um, achievements can be done in normal mode except for the achievements to kill the bosses on Heroic. Yes. So you can actually switch yep. back and forth between Heroic and normal as you need yes. to. Yes, we can. That's exactly right. But we did not want to do that. So there were certain ones that we needed to, everyone kind of needed the Heroic stuff so it was just a matter of keeping it in heroic mo- mode which which we did and most of the stuff was fine there was just a couple um a couple of stuff that we we couldn't do but that's fine it's like well we just go back and do it again another week so so yeah so but it was really good fun so thanks guys for coming and then there's our little screenshot of all of us sitting up you know uh, taking over the throne there so so that's everyone and um and yeah that was that was really good great fun so oh. thanks guys Did you for do the song did we do the song? Ding, do, ding dong, the lich is dead. Oh. <laughs> oh, you can't do that. And uh, Grand Nagus says that a um, little bit of lore that actually the Lich King isn't dead. Only Arthas oh, is Oh, steady on. Right. And their soul is still in there. 
but his song. Spoilers, spoilers. Oh, yeah. oh, didn't Ding didn't dong, the lich is deadish. <laughs> He's deadish. Yeah. Jeez. That's right. I'm not so, dead yeah. yet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm excited about Dark Moon Fair. Did you did you mention? Yeah, you went to Dark Moon Fair, right? No, um, Lita. Lita didn't mention it. Okay, no. Well, I'd be shocked if you not haven't been there. I know. <laughs> I thought you. I thought you're there at the gate when they lift the. <laughs> they unlock <laughs> the much, padlock. But was was that last week? No, it's this was morning. It? Yeah. Then oh my gosh! It, <laughs> it started yeah, it's today. today. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God! (laughs) I have not even been to Dark Moon Fair. (laughs) Oh. Oh, I am a bad Dark Moon Fair. Where's my Jeremy Feasel? Oh my God! I know. So, does everybody go through the whole tiller thing, even though they've done it once or twice and three times (laughs) on every tune? Nope. No. I did, I think I got through it on, uh, definitely on leaders, everything's done. Some of it's done on my priest and my DK. Hardly anything's done on my warrior. Um, But yeah, no, I just, I kind of got a bit over over it all it was it was just like i no as long as i've got it on my main for me i'm You're that's fine. what i'm happy okay. about so, so maybe yeah. i should just get my butt to timeless isle just that i hate coming upon the farm and finding that i could have been farming and i didn't <laughs> it's almost yeah. like an obsessive compulsive thing yeah yeah. All right. And that's I been my. I think oh. the Tillers is going to be your Argent tournament for Warlord. <laughs> <laughs> no one else will be there, and you'll be like, "Well, I'm farming. But, <laughs> I need to farm." But I'll have my garrison then, won't I? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Will we garrison? Need, won't we be farming on our garrison? There's a herb garden. I'm not sure. There's a proper farm. <gasps> oh, so we still will need. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I don't think they want you to be popping back. Okay, oh, Catherine that. Tate. Um, <laughs> I don't know. know. <laughs> what are you like? <laughs> <laughs> so, Jeppy, how's your week been? Well, it's been cool, actually. Um, I managed to, last week I was talking about using voice control and the Stinky Board, which is actually very well named. After you've put your feet on it for about three or four days, it really does get quite stinky. So it's uh, that's quite useful. Uh, and I made a video. So there's a video out there on the Wow Geekly uh, video page on YouTube of me doing the voice control. Hopefully everybody's seen it by now. Am I right in thinking they Very cool. Mm. I have. It was awesome. Cool. Yeah, it was... Uh, it's fun doing it. It's weird because you, you forget that you can't you can't just talk and then mm. go into the voice control because when you're talking, the voice control is trying to work out what you're saying and trying to do stuff. Yeah, like uh, you know, you only have to clear your throat a couple of times, you end up in front of order. It's not nice. <laughs> so you got you got to be careful. So that it was cool, and I was glad to get that done because sometimes it's quite hard to explain. Oh, it was really good to see because because now I knew exactly what you were talking about. You know, when you were explaining it, I was like, ah, I could really understand it. So it looks fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to make a few more because that was kind of explaining some mechanics behind it and the the profiles mm-hmm. and stuff. But I think yeah. a lot of people want to just see it in action. They just want to see it because there's yeah. a heck of a lot more to what I was able to show a lot of movement yeah. stuff. And as I said at the end of the video, um, once you combine it with things like interact with target, it becomes incredibly powerful. I mean, I don't think generally people use interact with target as much as perhaps they could. Um, mm. It's not, an, it's a quite a less known key bind, but it's, it is pretty cool. There's even like interact with last uh, current person talking and things like that. Yeah. So if you, wow. And there's lots of, I mean, I know that 
we all probably run out of button space in WoW because there are so many, at least currently there are so many spells. I suppose the, the changes coming in Warlords will help with that a little bit. Mm-hmm. But when you, when you switch to other things using other controllers, you, you, have, you, you know, the sky's the limit. You can have as many, as long as you can remember what word means what. Yeah. You, you can do what you like, so. So I was glad about that. Lita, can you read the next email? Most definitely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she recovered from, just recovered from the first one. <laughs> she just said no. You keep doing that, Jeppy. <laughs> Jeppy, did you want to read Sorry, the next email? Sorry, you're breaking up, Oh my God, that was so good. <laughs> Um, sorry if we ruined anybody's spoilers about the Lich King. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Did you sing Ding Dong, the Lich King? Thing? Um, it's funny that they survived. You know, uh, I have to go kudos to uh, Brewdog because he took uh, me and, and Vrishna and a bunch of other people through and we got our title. And yeah, there was. It'd be, I, I would really cry for anybody that actually released thinking that they could run back real quick. And I mean, nowadays, everyone survives. There's yeah, no yeah. more dying right. at the end. So. Right. With uh, the Heart of Azeroth and all the buffs, you just have too much of a health pool. And you're yeah. also buffed in there. Okay. Yeah. Right. And that, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I was doing the tillers. Ah, so you still do it, Construct? From time to time, yes. It mm. depends if I have uh, like uh, 20 minutes to a half hour and I have a lot of space in my bags because your bags fill up. Right. And by the time I get to the uh, the Blood Lady, I run out of bag space. Right. So I have to exit the dungeon or go to the um, the Rampart of Skulls to pop up, pop up my vendor mount. So I'm not one of those streamers that has 100 slots available. I have usually 16 to 20 slots I'm available. Confused. I'm confused. I was thinking the farm. Are we thinking oh, the of- farm? Yeah. I yeah, I do like- the farm every day. Oh, okay. Every day I go and I get, if I, can't, if I can only go on one character, I do uh, Ghost Iron Ore. Oh, okay. If I can go on two characters, I do Ghost Iron Ore and possibly um, Herbs because you can transmute the uh, Alexandrite to um, the River's Hearts. Oh, cool. Which is uh, the uh, exotic gem. Yeah. And from the exotic gem, you can make the Panthers. And from the Ghost Iron, you can transmute to um, the... um, Trillion bars to make the tight the the living steel. So mm-hmm. having six alchemists is not wasted. Basically, mm-hmm. you could turn what only costs you a couple of gold into something that, could, that is worth a thousand gold or uh, several thousand gold if you have the time to farm. Mm-hmm. Also, like um, a panther on my server is worth forty thousand gold, which is not bad. That's good coin. Yeah. Cost you an orb of mystery. 20,000 gold, and so you need a little bit of starting capital. Right. All right. So, um, also, I put a link in the show notes for anybody that's looking to uh, see that video. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, Wow Geekly. That was a, a very popular podcast of traders. I mean, of people that used to be on this podcast. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So if you want to see that part, that that episode, and you can link to other episodes, it's it's uh, in the show notes under the emails. All right, thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Jeppy, Lita, Tidra, and uh, apparently Grand Angus was on that show a lot <laughs> from the chat room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you were. That was excellent. All right, now's the time I get to play this. We're Clan of Darkness here together. What's in an egg that we can't weather? Apocalypse. 
We've all been there. It's the same old boss. Why should we care? We're a clan of darkness here together. What's in an egg that we can't weather? There's nothing that we can't face. Except for money. How are the clans of darknesses and control out wow and never close and uh, what about those people in uh, classic wow? How are they doing? Well, I didn't do the classic wow this week oh, okay. because I uh, I was not. Are you in classic like, wow? I, I was so tight on time. I didn't have uh, a day to invest in there, but uh, I did the regular uh, retail okay. people. And we have a little bit green on Winterhoof. Congratulations. She great. She reached level 50. So that's awesome. I'm guessing that's uh, Rogue Slayer's gnome. Right. Yep. And we also have somebody on Winterhoof who's earned the exalted status with Control Out Wow. Effortless. Congratulations. Funny how time flies when you're happy. Being fun. Congratulations, Effortless. That's a lot of effort. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. Yep. <laughs> so, good job, everybody. Um, I will try to get on later. And, I mean, all we need to do is look with, uh, with the classic. It's just to look at the roster and see. Yeah, the, the only <laughs> problem, classic, not having achievements. You have to compare the week before. Right, well, the current week to oh, find yeah, out true. if anybody well, leveled. If anybody leveled, you could just, yeah. yeah. But, what you can do, so we can get a little uh, segment for for uh, for add on spotlight yeah. in here after all, is there mm -hmm. is an add on. Oh, is there? There is an add on, and that add on is called, let me just check. I don't say something wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, is, where is it? I'm guessing it has something to do with leveling, right? Yes, and, and no. guild achievements that are in classic. No, there are because there aren't any achievements. Because there aren't any, right? It's called Ding Master. Ah, very nice. Oh, okay. So, what it does is it sends a message to your guild, letting them know you leveled, mm. right. what level you are, and all the response to other members in your guild, and all the response to whispers. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. When, when the message was uh, received. And in this case, what you uh, get is you get when you, um, mm. when you log in and log out. Right. You, um, no, when you log out and then you log back in the next day or... or any time after you get a overview in the chat box. Right. It tells you this character has leveled from two. Oh, okay, right. Plus X and so forth. Right. It's color coded even so you can see if it's what 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 class right. the, the tune is and whatnot. I really find that that's uh, really nice feature that isn't even mentioned in the in the description in the overview mm. so if you have a tune uh, in a guild that uh, is only looking for, to to see um, the updates in leveling right. as, as, as you need you can go and, and, and get that called Ding Master. Right. Oh, nice. All one word. All right. So we will be recording next week. 
We'll probably have a special guest on Monday. You will be um, in uh, on the plane. On the plane. I'm not in Anaheim. You'll, you'll, you'll be in Anaheim. Okay. All right. Uh, I can't. Um, oh, I'm a demon and I can't fly. What am I? I am. Oh, Diablo, dude. Okay. I gotta wait for the spell. To... Oh, and I just dinged um, 118. Oh, candy Yay, buckets. Yay, congrats. <laughs> candy buckets and pet battles. <laughs> you, you are so close to having a max level character. So close to brilliant. <laughs> right. By the time she gets to 120, we'll be hearing that they're going to hey, up the level to 125. <laughs> Oh, 130. Or, uh, oh, yeah, 130. <laughs> or, 130. Or 70. <laughs> or 70. They're going to compact it down. <laughs> yep. Which is, which is something that I still see as a possibility as yeah. well with 9.0. There is no telling what Blizzard has in store for us. No. It's, let's put it this way. If they really revert to the classic... Wow, leveling reward system. Like getting one um, talent point per per ding. Yeah. After level 10. Uh, then it would make sense, perfect sense, to compact it as a brilliant, called it down to level 60. So then a tune that is level 120 gets basically halved, right. gets cut in half right. uh, with regards to levels. And then you just gain 10 new levels. So the, the a max level for 9.0 is going to be 70. I would love to see that. Mm. I would really love to see it because that gives Blizzard the freedom to do so much more with the talent system. Blizzard Blizzard has given us Warfronts, which, if you think about it, that's basically Warcraft 3 having all these NPCs charge in horde at the enemy oh. commander, but... Blizzard has the option, you know, they could give us something like a, a boat where we have all our NPCs live on the same <laughs> boat and all Can attack I? the same target. And all our max level characters could just be like yeah. the heroes just charging in there. Bada boom, bada boom. And like one big battleground assaulting another big battleground force with one character in command. Like, there, mm. there was that one guy that had the 40-man raid mm. in his computer room. Right. It just it, looked incredible. Can in I, my opinion, that's a little too much, but okay. Yeah. Can I the say technology that... technology exists. That I feel uncomfortable <laughs> giving drugs to these people, ancient manna to these people. In the, uh, you won't have too much longer, I think. <laughs> I well, know, you'll get to that you can, point. You can you'll see get to them. that point where they get healthy again. You can see them though when they go, oh, oh yeah, oh thank you, oh, 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 I needed that. I feel better now. <laughs> but you still need to give it to them to get the buff though. Right. Um, yeah. Right. But then they don't. They won't be going through withdrawals. That's right. Because they're sitting there now. They're like, oh, 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 I can't stand it. Anyways, this is the brilliant for the horde. This is Constracts for leveling everywhere. And this is Ben Negus, Rule of Acquisition, number 19. Satisfaction is not guaranteed. Well, okay, Bye, maybe everybody. at BlizzCon. I was going to say that. High five. Yes, maybe five, at BlizzCon. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, chat room. Thanks for joining us. Thanks again, uh, Kyle. You're the best. Jeppy, we're looking at you. All right. Yay. Yay. Ooh, I turned.